Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Relegation Regen Rebuild 2 with Palmer. And today we're going to face less in the first game of December. They are second bottom. We've got a game in hand on them and Casenza, who are bottom of the table, we're going to face next. Then we square off against top of the table Benevento. And we have the same two games here, Casenza first and then less. I'm not sure what to do with these two games because they are literally the same as the top two. But before we get onto this action with the new patch as well, which I'm really excited for, let's have a look at the kit upgrades for today's episode. So here is the kit upgrade for Alessio Bruno. That is from JB3 Sports Gaming. Thank you very much, man. And here is the kit upgrade for Gabrich. San Vanel took it straight away. Boots look really nice, especially for a non-nonsense defender like Gabrich. There he is with the boxing tape. He's about to punch someone. It actually makes sense that he wears boxing tape, both black as well. The first episode to be recorded with the 1.03 patch. They still haven't fixed one thing. When I enter career mode, it still pops this message up. Like I need a tutorial how to play career mode. First game of this episode and we're going away to less second bottom. We should get a win here, let's be honest. Starting lineup on screen with two changes to the side. Dysenberger and Gavrich get the spot over Mariani and Dreschler, who especially was disappointing last episode. The rest is the first team. Let's see how we do. Serie B action here live from the Stadio Villa del Mare. And uh, we are going away to less. There it is, Benevento at the top. One game in hand and one point above Foggia, who recently lost to Brescia. Big title racer as well. Looking forward to see how that pans out. Yes, Marino puts it through. Here is Rito. Going to have a dig from the park and it's just over the bar. Good early attempt though. Ivanov. Oh, what a ball! Yes, man! This is what Dysenberger brings to the side. What a ball that was to pick out Ujevic. For someone who scored a belt at last episode, finishing a chance like that is no problem. Up to the top corner it goes. Thank you very much. 1-0 Palmer. Ball is in. Oh, good save by Gruber. Marino clears it to Dysenberger. Going to put it forward for Ivanov. Yes. Rito puts it in front of the defence. Here is Ujevic once again. And it goes in once again. Same outcome for the one-on-one. -on -one. Ujevic is on top form. And the service to him has finally been a good one. Very good ball by Rizzo and Ujevic slots it past the keeper once again. Fifth goal in Serie B. Rizzo forward for Marino. Can he take the shot? He's been fouled in the box. That is going to be a penalty. Being pushed by two defenders until he was on the ground. Clear penalty. The man who earned it is going to take it. Marino steps up for the penalty. Going to the left. And it's 3-0. Game done and dusted, and it's not even half time yet. Marino with his first goal for the club. Just after the penalty, it's half time. Ujevic with two shots, two goals. That is a true target, man. Three changes at the break. Schmidt, Mariani, and Bruno are on for Ivanov, Marino, and Ujevic. I'm resting them three and refresh that right hand side. Gallo moves to the left, and Grabasic moves into central attacking midfield. Gives it to Mariani. Ball is through, Grbasic puts it in front to Rizzo. We have opened them up here. What a ball, it's a finish. And it's 4-0. Thought he was offside for a second, who is it? It's René Schmidt, the substitute. Rizzo has Bruno on the wing, spots him. The cross is pinpoint, it's 5-0. Michel Gallo gets the fifth goal and it's full house. I wonder what rock this Palmer side has been living on for the first few months of the season. Oh, good ball through. Keep the clean sheet, boys. Oh, that hurts. Lamantia gets the ball free. It's a good move by Les, to be honest, but I really wanted the clean sheet. The defence has been superb throughout the 90 minutes. Full-time whistle, it's 5-1. What a victory here. 
a bit hard by not getting the clean sheet to be honest, I really wanted it. We had about the same shots as Les, we had a lot more attacks than that, let me tell you right now. Les did deserve to score more than the one goal, but the defence and especially Gruber were on point today. Very open game, back and forth, Les had their chances, they simply did not take enough of them because of the defence. That centre-back partnership between Marinovic and Gavrich was outstanding. Then Ujevic got the man of the match, as you'd expect, scored two goals today. Rito, Schmidt, Gallo, Bruno and Deisenberger, all over 9.0. Here is the transfer off of Mario Kassen, it's his valuation, the kid hasn't been good on the pitch, didn't really do anything, even though I gave him chance after chance, and uh, Sanderfjord has actually come in with his valuation, and I respect that, so I'm going to accept it. We've climbed up to 13th as player of the year is announced, and it is Lionel Messi for the first year, congratulations. Fair play to Messi for winning the player of the year. We've got to keep the ball rolling here. And uh, we're going to go to the second game. It's a home against bottom of the table, Casenza. Starting lineup on screen and it's the second team side that's going to roll out here against Casenza. Simply because in one week's time we are going to face top of the table, Benevento. And because of that, there is no better chance to give a farewell game to both Costa and Kassin, so they both start. Here we go, Serie B action here live from the Stadio Ennio Tardini, and we're hosting bottom of the table, Casenza. Casenza have the worst away record as well, they haven't picked up a win away from home. Yes, Costa, good reverse ball, Simone Ricci gets the cross in, the header is in, it's hit the post, very unlucky there. Efren, good save by Esposito. Oh, good back heel, good block by Kassin. He's done something with his life, but he's given it straight back. And it's 1-0 Casenza. Well, you can't write this stuff. Mario Kassin, his head's just not in Palmer. Look at that for a pass. There were three guys on your left. Oh, bad clearance by the goalkeeper, good header, Costa, make it 1-0, lads. How will you shoot that straight the keeper? Well, that is half time, 1-0 to Katsenza. Two changes at the break, Marino and Jungbauer are coming on for Anzinger and Kassen. We need to step it up for the second half. Dreschler boots it forward, great ball, Trevison will get there. Put it in front, here is Simone Ricci, back, Costa. Give it inside, it's a great ball, but the shot in. I was not expecting that to make it through to Antonio Ricci. Final substitution for Palmer, Simone Ricci is knackered and he's off for Stefano Rito. Off we go, put it in front, here is Ujevic. This is his game, beat your defender lad. Yes, well played, straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, that is just a shambles. Full time and it's 1-0 Casenza. It was a recipe for disaster to play Kassen and Costa but at the end of the day we simply did not take our chances. It's been one of them days when you throw everything at the CPU and you still don't get the goal that you crave for. We peppered that goal throughout the second half and we still didn't get what we wanted. Risa didn't get a sniff of the ball. Mario Kassen and his agent have agreed personal terms with Sanderfjord and a flat 100k will be added to the transfer budget in the 1st of January. Third game of this episode and it's the biggest one out of the lot. It's away against top of the table, Benevento. Starting line up on screen is the first team side as you'd expect. This is the first team from now going forward. It was absolutely painful to watch Dreschler play yet again and Gabrich is getting the first team place over him definitely now. Dysenberger performed really well in that first game so I'm giving him the place as well over Mariani for now in the first team. Let's see how the team performs. I don't really know what to say about this game after two very different games in this episode. Serie B action here live from the Stadio Ciro Vigarito. And uh, we're going away to the top of the table, Benevento here. 
Christian Maggio still plays at 36. We're going to have to watch out for him. This is a great right back. Ball is inside. Good catch by Gruber. Yes, Uyevich. Good ball forward. Rito is wide open. Going to give it inside. Back to his strike partner. That is 1-0. And that is much more like the Palmer we know from the first game of the episode. He put every single ounce of his power on that shot and it has paid dividends. It's his sixth goal in Serie B. Yeah, it's very well done. It's half time and we're 1-0 up still. We are surviving the onslaught by Benevento so far. Three changes at the break. Anzinger, Bruno and Mariani. A run for Ivanov, Marino and Gallo. Yes, Rito, give it inside. Here is Ujevic. It's going to be unselfish. Grbacic slots it home. It's 2-0. And Benevento are punished for going on the offensive. Very well played by Nino there. And Davor Ujevic, very unselfish to square it across. Ujevic knew he was going to get closed down. And he set up Nino for that wonder right foot. At least the right foot works properly. The left foot I don't even try to work with. Ujevic, ball through. Anzinger looking for Rito. Man over. Nino Grbacic. We've seen this before. It's slotted into the side netting. This man has been absolutely phenomenal in the second half. Puts both chances away. Again, unselfish play pays off. Blocked out for a corner. Here is the corner itself. Grbacic with a great ball nope. in. It's hit the cross by the header. Marino nope. wins it back. We hit the post again. Absolute scenes there in the box. Still got it from the corner. Here we go. Rito. Back. Grbacic. Going to cross in on his right foot. Nope. The header comes in. It's another save by Gori. Ball is over the top to nobody really. Gabrich is going to flick it over like the cocky defender that he is. Oh, great ball. Here is Richie. Come on, guys. Keep the clean sheet this time. What a save by Gruber. What a game this was. Full time, 3-0. It could have been more for Palmer, but Benevento could have scored more as well. Look at that. We totally deserve to win today. Double the shots, more than double on target. Then three up top, Rito, Ujevic and Grbacic were just destructive. The rest of the team did well on providing the balls for them. Fourth and final game of this episode. We're going away to Casenza and we need to get some revenge for that loss earlier in the episode. Serie B action here live from the San Vito Gigi Marula. What a name for a stadium. It is Casenza away on Boxing Day. It is snowing for the first time in this save. Casenza have the worst away record and the worst home record. Before they played this, they didn't win a single game. Here is Young Bauer going for the long shot. Good save by a Sirocco. Yes, Trevison with the fancy flick over to Simone Ricci. Going for the long shot and it's a save by Sirocco again. Ricci's going to whip it in. It's towards the danger area. What a cross that is. Pinpoint to number 15, keeper in no man's land there, because the cross was that good. Sirocco, third time lucky, we get past him, it's Lucas Dreschler, gets his first goal for the club, and he finally does something with his life. Here is Mungo, ball back, good save by Gruber. Perez, oh effort in, good save Gruber once again. Yes, yeah, blocked by Gallo, and he clears it away to the edge of the area. Not really a place where he wanted to clear to. Oh, what a ball, what a ball that is. Fair play, Casenza. And uh, Backley gets a goal. Easy tap-in, to be honest, after that brilliant ball. Here is Trevison, back. Yes, yeah, straight away, Young Bauer put us 2-1 up, he does so. Makes no mistake, the kickoff glitch this time works in our favour. Just before half time, we get the goal that we needed. It's a very important one, and we need to hold on to it. Well, that is half time 2 1 to Palmer. 
very good start here let's keep it up in the second half three changes at the break marino bruno and mariani are coming on for the second half marriage young bauer and richie are off yes schmidt has marino free of marking marino the effort is wide mungo crosses in where has the defense gone lads oh my word how do you leave the guy there wide open I mean, it's an easy goal for Casenza, and the cr I did my best to cut out the cross. I didn't, so I expected the fullbacks to go forward, but they just stood back, played that guy on side, left him wide open. It's an easy goal. What is the defence doing? Well, that is full time, two all draw, not the result that we wanted. In my opinion, we should have won Antonio Ricci with the man of the match. When they did not deserve anything from the game, they get a point. When they didn't deserve to win, they got all three points. They are still bottom of the table. We've given them four of their 11 points. So I've just noticed that we only have two games for January. And so I'm going to leave this game against Les as well to do for the next episode. Don't worry guys, I didn't forget about the squad report. I'll do it next time in February at the end of next episode. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the league table. We are sitting 14th. We've climbed a bit despite the poor results against Casenza. It looked really good against Benevento. We've kicked them out of top spot. That's what we wanted to do. Keep the title race spicy. What an episode indeed. It's had its ups and downs. But that is going to do it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all next time. And until then, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.